Today, I wanted to talk about setting custom white balance on the Sony A7R Mark II for video. I'm being very specific when I say that because I did a search myself online for setting custom white balance on this camera and the other A7 series cameras, and I found a lot of uh, good information. But the one statement that everybody didn't say was for video. And so I just thought I would make a quick video explaining that there's one thing you have to know in order to set custom white balance and for video, and that is that you start in stills mode. Now, this is not different than other cameras, and it's something I probably should have remembered from my time using Canon cameras uh, and setting the white balance uh, to custom for video. But somehow over the last year, as I've been focused on landscape work, because this is a fantastic camera for landscape, I forgot all about how to do this. And I've been using auto, I've been setting the camera in, in uh, aperture priority or in shutter priority, and I've just been shooting um, really without any very specific uh, control over the image, and I've been letting the camera do this in auto. So, so why do I need to be setting custom white balance for video? That's because the word auto really is bad uh, most of the time except maybe when you're doing a video on YouTube for, like this, but uh, setting and controlling the image is a very important part of taking video and making sure that you're setting your shutter speed, your aperture, your ISO, and your white balance to a very consistent setting so that you maintain uh, a clean and conformed image across all of your scenes. So that's why. And, um, and so with that, I'm gonna get into showing you uh, a few quick steps on how to do this yourself. In order to set custom white balance on the Sony A7R Mark II for video, we have to actually start in stills mode or in photography mode by selecting one of the photography or stills options on the selector dial on the top of the camera. I've set the camera here to aperture priority and we're going to start there. You could pick uh, auto or you know, uh, you know, shutter priority, whichever you want to choose. It really doesn't matter. Uh, once we do that, we're going to go into the function uh, button on the back of the display, and we're going to find the white balance setting on our, on our menu. Select that and scroll down to the custom setup uh, for uh, white balance. Now we're going to select that, and now we're being told that we need to put our reference material in front of the lens. And you can see the zebras on my uh, display are kind of masking it, but if I move it around, you might see there's a little circle in the middle. You want to set that to be uh, where, the, uh, uh, where, where your reference material is, and then press the, and select that. It will then take a photo and use that uh, to set the white balance for the camera. Now it's come back and told us that based on that sample, our white balance should be 3000 Kelvin with an offset of zero and zero. Now, the second thing it's asking us is which register do we want to store that into? And we can use our selector wheel to choose register one, two, or three, or custom one, custom two, custom three. I'm gonna choose custom one, uh, and store that by hitting select. And now I have saved that information, that custom white balance information, and I'm ready to go to movie mode. So once I'm in movie mode, I then can double check my white balance setting by clicking on the function button and confirming that I now have 3000 Kelvin, indeed is now selected as my mode. So I can go in there and you can see I have custom one, custom two, custom three, and I have custom setup, which is actually grayed out now. And I'll select custom one once again to make sure I've set that and I'm ready to shoot with all my other manual settings, including setting the shutter speed to manual, uh, the aperture to manual, as well as ISO. It's fairly dark in here, so I have the aperture wide open for this lens, as well as a fairly high ISO, which is really not a problem for uh, this camera. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. 
hopefully I've helped somebody shortcut their learning curve and shoot better video. Have a great day.